Hello and welcome to Technicians Tuesday. This week we've got a bird's eye view, time lapse of a triple 350 horsepower engine repower that we did in one day. If you are new here, you are going to want to get subscribed to the channel where every week we take you through an average day as a marine technician. You get to see an inside look at what goes on in a normal day at a busy marina in the Florida Keys. We do all kinds of how-to, DIY, and repowering videos, so get that bell on and let's get this repower started by getting these old engines off this boat. We started out by removing the tie bar and leaving it set up so we don't have to remeasure the distance between the propellers, which controls the tracking of the boat. This saves a ton of time and brings us to the derigging of the engines. Vratos are a quick rig and each engine can be derigged in only a few minutes. We had to pull up the access plates in the transom well to get access to the engine mounting bolts. We are well on our way to removing the engines with them fully derigged and access to the bolts. We installed the lifting eye on the engine and removed the mounting bolts. Using a forklift, we removed each engine one at a time. By this point you are probably wondering why and where the rest of that center engine is. This engine previously had some trouble with some stuff that got into the oil pan, so the engine was disassembled and was in the process of being cleaned out and reassembled when the new engines for the boat showed up. So we stopped the reassembly and went straight to the repower. We will be putting that engine back together in a couple of days. Lucky for you guys though, you get to see the time lapse for the entire repower. Moving on, we needed another engine stand, so we pulled another engine off of a good stand and stuck the other one on the pallet. With not much left on the center engine but the adapter plate, we were able to just pull the bracket and plate off by hand and stick it on the engine stand that we could move over to the side.
With the boat all back together and the system reconfigured, it was time for a water test and the end of our day here on this Technician's Tuesday. This week's project updates are all about the venture. We got the lower station control box installed, some new JL audio speakers put in, power steering pump, autopilot pump, and tons of wiring done. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, let us know what you think in the comment section below and hit that like button for us. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on next week's progress. And remember, we can always be reached on our website at bornagainboating.com. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night and we'll see you next week.